It's been a testing year at WA hospitals and new figures revealed in state parliament show the extent. Across the state's public system, 111 code yellows or internal emergencies have been called in the 12 months to June when a hospital or its emergency department reaches capacity. At Sir Charles Gardner Hospital, it's happened 76 times and Fiona Stanley, 25. These are damning statistics and raises the question about what this government have been doing over the last 18 months. Every state in Australia has been going through these experiences. Uh, massive increase in demand in our public hospitals. But what we're doing about it is investing hugely in additional nurses, doctors, uh, support services in hospitals all over WA. Multi-day non-urgent elective surgeries have already been put on hold for a month and doctors have warned the state's hospitals couldn't cope with a COVID outbreak. While the battle over what's causing the hospital emergencies continues, something everyone can agree on is vaccination rates need to keep rising. About half of West Australians have had one COVID shot, while just under a third are fully vaccinated. Mark McGowan won't say exactly what number will trigger the interstate border coming down, other than it will be above 80 per cent. It also has to mean that those people who are most vulnerable in Aboriginal communities, uh, in uh, multicultural communities, in poorer parts of the city who have low levels of vaccination, that we get their vaccination levels up. The state government says once enough people are vaccinated, it will give a date for when it will reopen the interstate border to give people enough time to get the jab. That's if they haven't already. Evelyn Manfield, ABC News.